readers. I want to show you some things about text features with the book that we're using for our nonfiction unit. So the front cover here, we have a text feature already, and that's the title of the book. As you know, title of the book usually tells you what the book's going to be about. When we open up, we have the cover page, and it gives you more information here. It tells you living in the wild, primates. So already I have a vocabulary word here I think that might be important, it's primates. So that's a word I might want to look up and learn and understand because if it's on the cover page, it's in large print, it's something I need to know about. So right away, I would know as a reader, I can go back and look in the glossary for those types of words. I can also look in the index to find what page that word might be on, and then I can use context clues to help figure it out as well. So here are two text features we're gonna talk about today that can help you and how you can help yourself understand this nonfiction reading. We have a table of contents, as I'm sure you're familiar with. Here are all the different titles of the chapters or the parts of the books and what pages to find them. On this first page where we can really get into the meat of the book, we have a heading or a chapter title. And then here we have a heading. So it sort of depends what you're calling it, how the book is structured. But this gives you the idea of what this section is going to be about. So it's a place where you can find main idea for a larger section. Then these are subheadings and they can give you a clue about what's happening in little smaller sections, but they still fall under this larger um, topic section right here. So there are a lot to think about when you're reading nonfiction. Also, we have some captions to go with the photos. Sometimes captions look different. Sometimes they're just in a box underneath. These are kind of off to the side. These look like fun facts. Um, so the fun fact might actually go with the photo as well. You can see we have a map and right inside the map there's yet another text feature that helps you with understanding the map. So you need to read the key to the map. That means like the secret to it and it tells you what the color orange means when you read this and then you can find all the color orange on the map and you'll know more about your topic. Oh one thing more I wanted to tell you about. We're gonna learn about bulleted lists but you can also apply numbered lists in the same way. As you flip through this book, you're going to see more headings and subheadings and captions. You're going to find um, like this one has a heading to this little caption right here. So there are even headings within headings within headings. But just know that when they're together like this, this topic right here is going to be about nose prints. Here's some more text features. We have um, a chronological, that means in the number of years in order, or in some way in order. Um, and then like lines to follow and think about how they're connected. So there's a lot going on in this particular diagram. It even gives you a clue right here. It says this diagram to tell you that's what this is. So then there's information on the sides. There's a lot of information that's in here that might not be found in the text right here. So these text features give you more information about your topic. So if you have this as your heading and this is your subheading, this is going to help feed information into those two things. We also have another interesting looking diagram that helps you understand um, a hierarchy or an order of classification of these particular animals. Another map with a map key, more headings and subheadings. Here's a little section that um, tells you all about a person. Her name is Diane Fossey and this tells you more about her and her relationship to the wider topic of gorillas. So all of this stuff is important when you read, and we're going to learn more about it today. So as we flip through our book, look at all the different styles and types of diagrams. Notice they really focus a lot on photographs and um, captions to help you understand. There's nothing like learning about a topic and seeing it actually in, in a real live photograph. So. 
here we go. This is all of the book about gorillas. We may not, we may get to read different parts throughout, and then we'll have a reading of the full book um, at some point too that you can read. Oh, look, a diagram. Here is um, some information about this picture with this diagram. So this is like three captions in one. So you can mix your captions up together. And here's the glossary that we talked about earlier and the index. Notice those come at the very end. So this is just a quick tour of the book Gorillas. We're going to talk more about this again um, when we talk about headings and subheadings because those are the key things that help us know about main idea and detail, which is what we're going to be learning more and more about in this unit. Hope you enjoyed.